Hey, it's Jordan Hetrick. I'm excited to help you get started setting up your new Karma drone and show you how to get started using it. The Karma is a very functional, easy to use drone and it's a great way to get your GoPro into the sky for some amazing footage. Plus it's got the removable gimbal you can use with the Karma grip, which makes it more useful than most other drones because you can use it even when you're not flying your drone. I'm going to show you everything that comes in the case and I'm also going to show you how to set it up and get started so you can get out there and start practicing. So let's open up the Karma case and check it out. Inside your Karma case, you'll see here, this is the core of your drone with the battery already inserted there. It's inserted partially. Up here in the front is the stabilizer with the Hero 5 Black harness. And if you purchase a kit with a camera, the camera will be inside there. This is the Karma grip, which you can use with the stabilizer, which is great for handheld footage. Here's the charger and a plug for the charger. In this little bag here is some accessories for the camera and also the mounting ring for the Karma grip. This is the Karma controller for your drone. And in this box under here, there are propellers for your drone. Once you put the propellers on, you can actually pack your Karma in the case here with the propeller still on. And underneath here is some instructions for using your Karma. A quick get started guide. First, you'll need to charge the batteries on your drone and controller so you can get through the setup process. I'm not going to go through the setup process for the camera if one came in your kit. I have a whole separate video for the cameras to show you how to get started with those if you don't know how. So pull out the charger, the cord for the charger, as well as the battery out of the Karma core right here, and your controller. We're going to get these charged right now. Just make sure the battery charger is plugged into a power outlet and then you can charge the Karma battery and the Karma controller at the same time. To charge the Karma battery, just use the big plug here. You can plug that into the front of the Karma battery here. And the Karma battery takes about an hour to charge, so it's a pretty quick recharge time. And you'll need to charge this after every flight. The Karma controller won't need to be charged as often, but let's get it fully charged right now so you can get started with fresh batteries. So you can just lower this tab here on the Karma controller, and there's a little USB connection there, and you can use this connector to charge the battery. The Karma battery won't ship with very much battery, so it'll probably start out with one light and it'll flash all the way up to four lights. When it's finished charging, the lights will turn off. The Karma controller will probably come with about two lights and when it's finished charging, these lights will also turn off. It takes about two and a half hours to charge it when it's empty, but it'll come with about half a battery, so it shouldn't take as long. You can push pause on this video to wait for the batteries to charge and then come back and continue this video. While these are getting charged, also make sure your camera battery is getting charged up. The drone will power it and it will charge the battery, but it's good to start out with a fresh battery in your camera anyways. Once all four lights are solid or they've turned off completely, you can disconnect the charger and we'll move on to the next step. Next, you can take the drone out of the case and you can take these little covers off. These are just to protect the propeller motors here. So let's unfold the legs. The legs are folded up here on the bottom and every time you set your drone up, you're going to unfold these legs. So just pull them out from the middle and the legs will snap into place. Then you can set your drone on those legs. Next you can unfold the arms here. So just unfold the back arms first and they'll fold into place like that and then undo the front arms so it looks like that. You're going to do that every time you set up your drone although the propellers will be attached. Now take the box with the propellers in it and take the propellers out. There's one full set as well as a spare of each color and you just need two of each color, two of the silver and two of the black to set up on your drone. To attach the propeller, just match the top of the propeller with the top of the motor here. There's a little dot on top of the motor. And then you just put it on top there. And the arrow shows you which direction to spin it. And you just spin it until the motor moves beneath here. And it's self-tightening, so you don't need to tighten it beyond that. To remove the propellers, if one breaks, you just hold the motor and you just unscrew it the opposite direction. And usually you can just do it by hand. This tool is provided in case you can't hold it tight enough. You can just hold the motor like that and then unscrew it the opposite direction of these arrows. Then you can go ahead and attach the other propellers. The silver top spin clockwise and just make sure you match up the dots on top with the top of the propeller. Spin them till the motor spins. Then the black dots go counterclockwise. And like I said, they're self-tightening so you don't need to tighten them too much. They'll tighten themselves. Now we're gonna put the battery into the drone. If you ever need to check the battery status, you can just push this little button on the battery and the lights will show you how much battery charge there is. 
So to put the battery in, you just slide it in the back of the drone here. And just make sure it goes all the way in and locks into place. We're not going to take the battery out right now, but I'll show you to take it out. You just grab under here and pull it and it comes out easily. This here is the harness that holds your camera on the stabilizer. If you bought your drone with the camera, it'll already be in there, but you still need to put a memory card into the camera. To take the camera out of the harness, just push down this little tab here and you can lift it open. And then you just got to kind of wiggle the camera out. It's a little bit hard to get out and it slides out of place, but it was attached by the HDMI and USB there into this part of the camera. Once you have your camera charged and you make sure there's a micro SD card in there, you can put the camera back in the harness. Just make sure these two ports line up. So you just slide it in between the harness here and just try to make sure it goes in pretty straight and those should just line up and then just push it in firmly. Then attach this latch here. Make sure it grips onto there and locks into place and your camera is back in the harness. If you want to switch cameras, depending which camera you're using, you can switch out the harness. This here is the Hero 4 compatible harness. As you probably know, this stabilizer comes out of the drone and goes in the Karma Grip. You can leave the stabilizer in the drone. I'm going to take it out just to show you how to put it in the Karma Grip so you know how to do it. To take it out, you just slide this over where it says unlocked and then it just comes right out like that. One of the best things about the Karma is that you're not limited to just flying in the sky. So you can remove the stabilizer put it in the Karma Grip and you can get the same smooth handheld footage using this Karma Grip. So the stabilizer comes out and then you just make sure it's unlocked here on the Karma Grip and you put it in there like, like that and then you make sure it's locked again. Now when you turn on the Karma Grip this will be stabilized footage. You can walk around and it's going to do the same action as it does on the drone. I'm going to keep it in there for now because we're going to set up our drone first. So now that the drone's set up let's move on to the controller. So grab your controller and you can open it up. Let's remove the little protective lining here. It's just to protect it while it was shipping. And you can power your controller on by holding the power button here. And then it's going to take you through the setup process. You need to have an email and a password through GoPro to get set up with the Karma. So you can just follow the prompts on the screen to get walked through the setup process. It's going to ask you what language. You can just push English or whatever language you're using and accept the terms and conditions. Set up your Wi-Fi if you have one so you can do the updates. So set up your Wi-Fi network by using the touch screen. You won't need to use Wi-Fi when you're flying the drone but it's just used for certain things such as updating firmware or downloading maps. So you can set up a free GoPro account or log into GoPro if you already have an email and password. It's a free user account. So once you're logged in, it'll show this screen and you continue to follow the prompts if you want to agree to location services and GoPro Care, GoPro Plus. You can just skip this stuff. It's just telling you about the different features. This is the flight simulator. We're going to come back to this in a minute. So you can just press skip for now. So once this screen comes up, just push on this little icon right here. And that's going to check for updates. Now it says there's updates available. I recommend updating everything just to make sure everything's up to date with their most recent firmware. So you can click right here to download the updates. And you have to have Wi-Fi connected to do this. You can push pause while the updates are downloading. Once the updates are downloaded, you're going to need to grab the drone and power it on along with the controller. So press the power button on the back of your drone behind the GoPro logo here. And it'll power on your drone. The updates will be transferred directly from your controller to your drone and the stabilizer. Once the updates are installed, you'll see check marks next to them. If your camera's battery doesn't have enough charge, it may not update. It needs a certain amount of battery to be able to do the update. So make sure you charge your camera battery before you set up. But I'm going to move forward to continue the setup here, even though the firmware is not updated on the camera. But make sure you update the firmware on your camera. If you need help with that, you can watch one of my other videos for your specific camera model. And once the updates are installed, you can just click the little X to exit out of there. If you see a screen like this, it's normal. Just go ahead and follow the prompts to calibrate the compass on your drone. One more thing I just want to make a note of is now that the drone's powered on, don't manually move this stabilizer. It's a very sensitive electronic device that makes sure your camera's level and smooth. So you don't want to mess with that by manually moving it at all. Before you go fly Karma, you need to make sure that you register your drone through the FAA's website. They'll give you a little number and you just need to attach it to your drone somewhere so that if your drone is lost, they know whose drone it is. So once you've got your drone all set up, it's ready to fly, you're going to want to turn it off, pack it up, and take it to a nice open field 
somewhere that's suitable for flying and suitable for learning to fly. If you haven't flown a drone before, I suggest using GoPro's flight simulator, which is built into the Karma controller. It's a great way to get to practice using your drone without actually risking crashing. Once you turn on the Karma controller, just tap this icon here on the top left to go to the home screen. And under learn here, you can go to practice flying. That'll take you into the flight simulator so you can practice the controls of your Karma drone. Once the flight simulator loads up, you can practice all the controls that will work with Karma on this flight simulator so you don't have to worry about crashing your drone. I'm not going to go over all the controls here because I'm going to take it out and show you how to fly it in real life, but it's good to practice on this before you get out there. And it gives you most of the commands you need to learn how to do it. It'll also give you these commands when you're really flying. When you're done with the flight simulator, just push this home icon and it'll take you back to the main screen. But let's go fly it in real life now. So to pack up your drone, just turn off the power buttons on both the Karma drone and the Karma controller. Powering off. Then shut it down. Then grab the case that came with your drone. You can put the spare propellers back here where the controller was. And then also put the controller on top of that. So then take your drone, fold the legs in. Then the propellers, you can do the front ones first. And the back ones. And then I take this little foam pad out that came with the case. You don't really need that. And I always make sure the camera's just straight up like that. Set it down in there and make sure the propellers kind of go to the sides of the controller. Then you're ready to go. Just zip up the pack and you can go to a better spot to fly your drone. Once you've found a nice open area to learn to fly your drone, you can go ahead and set your drone up and make sure it's sitting on a nice level area. Then press the power button on the drone and on the controller. It'll take a minute for both of them to start up and for the drone to find a GPS signal. Once you see the gimbal is powered up, check to make sure that the camera is straight in relation to the horizon. If it looks like it's crooked, power off the drone and make sure it's level and then power it back on. Once you see the Karma screen where you can swipe up, you can swipe up on the Karma screen and you'll be able to look at the view through the camera's lens to be able to check the horizon. Once the controller and drone are ready to go, Go ahead and turn the controller around and press the record button on the back of the controller. That way you can get video of your first flight. You're then going to press the start and stop button on the controller. That will start up the propellers. Press the auto takeoff button and Karma will launch up to about 8 to 10 feet in the air. It will then hover in place until you're ready to use the controls. I actually flew this on a kind of a windy day and not really a good area to learn but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. You want to make sure there's lots of open space. I've got a cliff on one side and ocean on the other and it's kind of windy so it wouldn't be the ideal day to learn. But now that you've got Karma up in the air you can just practice using the controls. Don't rotate it in the beginning, just keep it straight out so the nose is facing away from you. And you can use the right joystick to go right and left, forward and back, and use the left joystick just to go up and down. You can adjust the elevation of your drone. That way you can just get used to the controls and just keep it simple in the beginning until you get really used to flying Karma. You just want to have a good first experience and get your confidence up. When you're ready to land it, just bring it back to a clear landing spot and slowly lower it down to the ground by pressing down on the left joystick. When it hits the ground, the motors will turn off and you can press stop recording. Karma is ready to pack back up and fly another day. Check out my book which I wrote specifically for the Karma drone. It's full of inspirational ideas and pictures and different shots you can do for both photos and videos. And it really will get you through the whole process of learning from the beginning all the way through to creating professional looking footage with your Karma drone. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you get started. And I'll see you out there. You can leave the stabilizer in the drone. I'm going to take it out just to show you how to put it in the Karma grip so you know how to do it. 